Okay, Amco drum mics. Standard, metric, doesn't matter. They seem to be hard to read. We're going to go over in this video how to do the standard mic. What these graduations mean in here. What do all these clicks mean? Certainly, what does this dial do at the end? And how do I perform it and use it to get an accurate measurement on whether or not I should discard my drums or if they're good for machining, or are they even worth machining? And save some time, throw them away, buy new ones. We're gonna go over these in this video. Okay, so here is our standard drum mic, Amco drum mic, and let's take a look at some of the numbers that are on the beam right here. They're gonna be hard to see, but if you look down at the beam, you'll see some numbers here that are kind of interesting I'm not sure what they mean there's a seven and, and above an eight right there in the middle of the screen and if we look down to the left a little bit there's a six above that there's a seven and a six on the left side there's a nine and an eight and the numbers just continue out the beam that way well it's real hard to understand what those numbers mean okay we had all those numbers on the beam a little bit ago, and they're hard to see with the camera. So I, what I've done is I went ahead and drawn out these numbers. This indicates that beam. These two blocks out here are going to be the settings, which we always use the inside of these to line up with the corresponding numbers. Let's go over how these numbers work. That's probably the most confusing part about these brake drum uh, micrometers. Okay, so... Let's say we're working on a 7-inch drum. You'll know that by either the spec in the service manual or it's stamped on the drum. So let's start out by setting our, our arms on here on a 7-inch drum. So let's take it and set it on a 7 here and a 7 here. Don't worry about that 6 and don't worry about that 8. You're looking for two 7s that match on each half of that bar up there so set it on seven now you're set at seven inches let's say you want eight inches let's find the eight here and the eight there set that one on eight set this one on eight that's an eight inch drum and so on if you want nine leave that on the nine set this one on a nine you got a nine inch drum that's how you're going to set the big number on your mic okay You've got that number dialed in, you've got it set on here, but it's a little bit bigger than, let's say, a 9 inch. We have to move these out one click at a time until we start to depress this little button in on the end so we can read the final number, which we'll do here in a little bit. Every time I move that out one notch or one click, I'm moving out 0.125 of an inch or an eighth of an inch. All right. So let's say I have it on nine and I need to move it out three clicks. One, two, three, whatever. And I do the math and I see three clicks is worth 0.375. So now I've got my mic set up. At 9 inches overall, 0.375. If that's still not enough, go one more click and you'll be at 9.5 inches or 9.5 inches and so on. Okay, That is really simply how these work. Again, if I want a 7, I set it on a 7, set it on a 7, count my clicks, multiply them by 0.125 and I've got my big reading. Okay, hopefully we've all got that. The really weird reading on this one is there's a six by itself. That's just for a really small drum. Set one side on six, find the other six. There you go. Count your notches and away you go. Now, let's look at what this dial does. So, let's see here. I'm going to just say, because you can't see the numbers anyway. I'm going to say this is set on exactly nine inches okay so nine inches from the inside with the mark nine inches from the inside with the mark 
it is exactly nine inches if you if the drum squeezes that button in until that arrow reaches the zero see how if I hold that in if I let that button out just a little bit that means I'm bigger than nine inches so if I'm at 9.000 inches each one of these is a thousandth of an inch so I'm at 9.010 here 9.015 9.020 and so on okay so wherever I have this set at count my notches and if this plunger comes out from the zero I add to it if it goes inward I subtract from it hopefully that helps you get some practice on it let's measure one here in just a minute okay here we have a standard drum and you can see on the outside the maximum diameter is 9.055 that's max any bigger than that we got to discard this thing all right so we know that it's um, 9.055 let's measure it out and see if that works all right. we knew it's a nine inch drum so we're going to set this guy at nine inches where's my nine he's right here i don't care about any other numbers i'm just looking for that nine set it on the nine here's my nine on this side again i don't care about any other numbers i just want to line that nine up right here with the edge of the beam the arm excuse me all right now let's see if he's close to nine inches i'm going to gently drop him in here plunger first we don't want to snap that plunger squish him off to the side a little bit and drop the other end in and he fits and my plunger retracted so now i'm looking for the biggest number i can get on the right hand side this guy i'm holding him still and i'm squeezing him that way this number I want the largest number I can get. That tells me I'm at my top of my arc. Right there it is. Okay. That number is 0 0.041. Okay. And I know that's bigger than the 9 because that would be the 9 and the 0 right there. Well, I can hold it there. Anything more than that, my plunger is going out, which makes it bigger than 9. And at the top of that arc, I have 0 0.041. I don't snap that plunger. 0 0.041. 0 0.041. That's what I read on that. Now I didn't have to add any notches to this, so I have 9.041. My maximum diameter is 9.055, which means this is smaller than the maximum diameter, so this is actually a good drum. Okay.